Yo what's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how all the pros get zero input delay so your gameplay can go from looking like this to this. Let's get into the first thing we're going to be doing to give us lower delay. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is opening your mouse software and clicking the game that you're going to play. So for me this is Fortnite. Then you're going to click onto your mouse and you're going to set your DPI to either 800 or 1600. Going below 800 actually gives pixel skipping and this can make your delay way higher and it may also makes your game look really unsmooth. Like You'll notice that if you're playing on 400 DPI, your game will look really laggy. So make sure you're playing on 800 or 1600 and you should be good. Now, while you're still inside the mouse software, select your game again, go onto the mouse and make sure the report rate is on the highest available option. For my mouse, it's 1000. So this is the best I'm gonna get out of this mouse and it's perfect for me. I know some mice go up to around 8000 so if you have that option make sure you put it on 8000 and your game will feel amazing, your delay will be very low. Now I'm going to go through something every pro player has done. This is disabling mouse acceleration in Windows. To do this click your Windows key and search mouse settings. Click up here in the top right additional mouse options. Then. You're going to click pointer options and make sure enhance pointer precision is unticked. Ticking this box will make your mouse go from slow to fast when you're moving it and unticking it will make it say the same speed while you're moving it around. So if this is on in your game, it'll mess up your aim and you don't want this. So make sure this is unticked and then click apply and this is the next step done. There is one more thing that you need to do to disable mouse acceleration while you're playing Fortnite and this is by clicking Windows R and searching percent local app data percent, clicking OK, finding Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, then clicking on this and making sure that read only is not ticked, going onto here and clicking somewhere around the top click Control F and search up mouse then you're gonna click find next and where it says disable mouse acceleration you want to put true with a capital T after you've done this click file save click X here and then make sure that read only is ticked again click apply and OK and this will disable mouse acceleration in Fortnite now for the final mouse optimization, you're going to be installing a program called Timer Resolution, which automatically sets your mouse's input delay to 0.5 milliseconds, which is the lowest delay that you can get. So I'm going to be going through on how you can install this program and I'm going to leave a link in the description for the download page, but I'm just going to go through and show you how to install it. It is a really simple thing to install. When you click the link, it's going to bring you to this page and then you're just going to click download here. It'll install here. So you just want to drag this onto your desktop. Then you want to extract it. After you've extracted it, you're going to go onto the desktop and you're going to see that it's here. It's going to click this and then you can click maximum and then just minimize this while you're playing don't don't close it because this will stop it from working so just minimize it while you're playing and then this will give you 0.5 milliseconds response time on your mouse now for the keyboard optimizations we're going to be downloading something called filter keys i'm going to leave the link in the description on where to find the page to download it so once you're on the page, you're going to scroll down until you see the six red downloads and you're going to click the top one here. Once this is installed, you're going to drag this onto the desktop and extract it. And once it's extracted, you should see it here. 
you just want to click this and then copy the settings that are in here once you've copied the settings click ok and this will leave it running while you're playing and it will make your keyboard response time as fast as it can be for the final keyboard optimization this is preference but it does give lower input delay if you go onto your keyboard software and you actually disable the colors so if you select all the colors and just put it to black so there's no color on your keyboard this will give you less input delay but if you do put it on a solid color this will also give quite low input delay as long as you don't have any like color waves going across the keyboard you should be good after you've done either no color or a solid color just click save and then you don't have to have your keyboard software open in the background you can just close it and it'll save next time you turn your PC on these are all the keyboard and mouse optimizations that I know of guys so if I have missed one just drop a comment and I can maybe go through it in a future video but if this video did help you out make sure to like and subscribe and hope you all have a nice day guys